Hello everyone, I'm RecV5. And I'm Sandman99. And we're back with Hot Shots Golf 3. Yes, and this will be our first uh, video uploaded in the new year. It will be, yes. Yes, so and, ha uh, happy new year everybody. Yes, happy new year. And so today we're going to be playing a double tournament round. Because there's a lot of tournaments to get through. And uh, I guess the first one's going to be on Mount Sakura, and then we can go to the next level. Let's go! Actually, you know what? We're going to sure to do this. There Let's you go. go. Use a more interesting costume than the plain one. Oh, you're using an alternate costume. Huh? Yep. Okay. So I have not warmed up uh, for this at all. I didn't touch this at all, so... Yep. Yeah, it's been since before Christmas, the last time you played, eh? Yeah, since before the New Year, too. Yeah. <clears throat> Good luck. Go. So I guess what comes of it comes of it. Yeah, you haven't played golf since last year. Well, that's a good way to start the New Year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Cutting's a little off. It went in. That's really all that matters, right? <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to get used to uh, or, reading. Or did it just again. not look nice enough going in? Well, I overhit, and then I also underplayed the break. Oh. So I just did everything wrong there, and it just uh. worked out. Well, hopefully that's uh, got enough loft. Oh yeah. Actually I overhit that. Your ball's in proximity to the hole. That's a considerable birdie. Stay solid. Oh, ah. oh. Yep. Calm down. It's okay. Oh. The putting is off today. Well, this tournament will serve as the warm-up round for the next tournament. Let's think of it that way. I guess so, hey. <laughs> Ooh, super top spin, huh? Nope, just the regular top spin, oh, but just super the regular, side spin. The regular top spin? Yep. Just the regular top spin that time. Well, that's pretty close. Yeah, that's not bad. That's a conceivable birdie. Nice birdie. Go, go, go. Probably fine. Hmm. Ugh. Probably hit that off the back. No, I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be in the middle of the green there, actually. It's just, oh. uh, yeah. Bad, bad impact. That's a considerable birdie. Stay solid. Eh. I don't know. Yep. See, good hole, on a good hole, I miss hit the ball and get a birdie, <laughs> and on the bad hole, I get perfect impact and then miss. Yeah. No power shot on this one? 
No, because I'm trying to hit a very specific spot on this fairway. Oh. So that I can see around these trees. Yeah, I suppose you don't really need a power shot if you can hit a four wood on your second shot anyway. That's right. Gonna hang on there. Oh. Uh, oh well, you could well, putt. You could putt from there, really. I could. Yeah. Could I make that putt? I don't know. Well, kind of trashy at putting. Nope. Oh. I should have hit the chip shot. Oh well. I always aim way the hell over here. Because I don't like that bunker. Yeah. Wow, you know what? With some of the top tier players with the really high power, maybe you could drive the green, eh? Quite possibly. I just hit a uh, pitching wedge there because I didn't want the wind to really hang my ball up like that. Ah. Uh. So the pitching wedge on that approach comes out a little lower. Go, go, go! Good luck. I overhit this. I don't think I played that enough. Oh. <sighs> it was close though. It was real close. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna have to get into the habit of just overplaying things or feeling like I'm overplaying things. And then I'll putt better. So I'm basically hitting these balls on top of these flags, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you literally could hit your tee shots onto a blanket and repeat, right? Hmm. Wind wasn't as strong as I thought it would be into that break. Well, you're just going to have to putt for the birdie here. Yeah. See, you seem to be pretty consistent at that around 10 foot, 10 to 12 foot range, right? That's right, yeah, that's the golden range. Yeah. Anything much outside of there, then, uh, you know, it's like your, hit or your, percent, your percentages are lower, but... Well, I'm sure glad I made it over that one little tiny tree. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you would not have an opportunity to go for the green here. Oh, I didn't get super backspin. Oh, I don't know that uh, you, you would really get a lot of uh, backspin shot with a driver off the deck anyway. But... It would more or less just be about popping the ball further up into the air. Uh, so that I could uh, end up getting... Oh, well, you missed the long putt last time. Yeah, well, you know. You're going to try it again anyway? Yep. Might need a bigger putting meter, though. 
I'm just gonna hit it straight. Come on, inertia, do your thing. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty damn close that to was straight. Pretty, that was pretty close. I don't know, it doesn't get much straighter than that. Go, go. Look, go. Ooh. Uh-oh. Yeah, that'll uh -oh. put me in trouble. Well, he didn't yell for, so you should be okay anyway. Well, except I might be stuck behind this shit. <laughs> yeah, well, now you're going to have to get creative. Well, you made a good save there. But I still have to make the putt. Yeah, I know, but... Oh, I hit it too hard. Considering the, uh, you made it. Considering the first tee shot that you made there, I think you came out of that pretty well. Yeah, I got lucky. Hit the slope. Yep, rolls down the slope. Oh look, that'll be longer than that, the last one because it's winter. That's a new long drive, <laughs> yeah. Kept on rolling. Yeah, I must have hit that other yeah. one in summer or maybe in fall. Yeah, 291 yard drive. Again, I'm still going to play it deep into the green here. I probably won't attack that green unless I play a character who can hit the ball 281 yards. <laughs> well, if you were playing a character like that, then your second shot would have been considerably shorter too, right? Well, it also would have been like a 7-iron or something. Yeah. So are you going to change favored characters at some point then? Yes. Oh, oh, I didn't hit hard enough. That's a conceivable birdie. I will indeed. Nice birdie. Who's your ultimate character in this game, then? Uh, there's a character called uh, T-Bone who I uh, favor quite a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember him. He's he's like the one of the one of the last unlockables, isn't he? That's right. Yeah, like the second or third last. Yep. I think the second last. Yeah. I like him because he has a high shot trajectory and he hits the ball further than Lynn. Uh. <laughs> That's pretty much the only reason why. I don't really care otherwise. My criteria for characters is purely methodical. I am not very sentimental. I think I overhit that. Well, I know it's uphill, but it's not that uphill. Oh, look at that. Wow, spun back toward the hole. <laughs> I guess it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. Yeah. I don't know why I second-guessed myself. Yeah, because you're a glass-half-empty kind of guy. <laughs> hey, if... You're always expecting the worst. You're never disappointed. That's right. That's the that's the old saying. Eh? The best thing about being a pessimist is you're never disappointed. Wow, that was pretty close. To, pretty close to a hole in one there. Sadly, I didn't get full power on that one. Yeah, yeah. If you'd have gotten a little more, it probably would have went in. Well, that's just how these things work out sometimes. Yeah. Well, you might not hit minus 19, but you're still going to have a decent round by the looks of it. Oh, look, I got super perfect impact. Uh, 
I don't know what the pressure uh, on the buttons here required for Super Perfect Impact even is. Mm. I just know I get it sometimes. Yeah. Well, I could take an extra club and uh, try that, or I could try to hit Super Backspin and uh, attack the pin, and maybe that'll work and maybe it won't. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Or I'll try this. It's probably more consistent anyways. Just slam it in. Yep. My hair. Well, you've got a big lead here with With uh, four holes to play, it seems very likely that you will win this tournament. Yeah, well, you know, the starter tournaments are never really too much of a challenge. Wow, look at that. You almost put that in. <laughs> Yo, I don't play backspin off that slope because it already is going to launch your ball like super high into the air. Yeah. And so I just play it like I hit would hit backspin, but then I just don't add the backspin. I don't know how strong that wind is, but it seems like it's really strong. It sounds strong. My ball is dropping straight down. Yeah. <laughs> That's a considerable birdie. I actually saw that happen to a guy once. I was playing golf with a couple of my buddies, and uh, this guy he had a really short approach shot to go. Uh, so he had a wedge, and he hit a nice high shot up into the air, but the wind was coming toward us. Yep. And it was really strong, and as soon as that ball got you know, like up near the top of the arc, all of a sudden it stopped just like it had hit a wall and then it just dropped straight down, right? Ah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. That was an excellent vector. Well, I can't say uh, that uh, I've ever had that happen to me in real life. I tend to have a very, very low shot. I don't get anything up into the air. That's because everything you hit has top spin on it and... Uh, You, I, you know what, I, I maybe hit, like, uh, the ball as high as, like, the trees. Yeah. I couldn't hit over those trees, though. I think this went off the back. Almost hit the pin. Yeah, most unfortunate. You're just not getting any of the lucky breaks today. Ah, well. <laughs> you you get to within a foot or half a foot or whatever, but you just can't drop any some of those close ones, eh? Yeah, well, sometimes, sometimes, you know, you have your good days and you have your bad days. I've had my good days here on camera already. I guess now it's time for a bad day. Well, I don't know. I think you're, ha you're having an all right round. Well, it sure beats shooting minus 12. <laughs> I think I've done that on camera before, too. You never know, though. There might be people watching who will go, Yeah, I wish I could shoot minus 12. Ah. I know that's something that I've probably never done in these games. Ugh. That's in the bunker. Nope. You just missed the bunker. Oh, look, I'm on the fringe. Yep. I think I underhit that. 
Hurry! Oh. I did. Oh, well, I guess you're gonna finish up with a par. Oh well. <laughs> a very average score. Yeah, you only won that tournament by 15 strokes. Damn pars. I always get a couple of pars every round, but usually the eagles make up for it, but I didn't get any there. As my yeah. calculations predicted, you have prevailed. I two putted a lot of greens. I two putted five greens. Well. And you got wallpaper set two. Yep. You get to do that uh, silly roulette thing again too. I got no idea. And you set a new course record for longest drive. Hey, I had a 69% uh, perfect impact percentage there. In spite of my miss hits. Yeah. Basically everything that wasn't a miss hit was probably like perfect impact. I don't know what that was all about. It just kind of goes to show though that uh, your uh, score doesn't really correlate with your perfect impact rating. Yeah, well, you know what? Some of those statistics can be used as a bit of a indicator about... Wow, you really lost that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Uh, you know, like some of those those statistics can be a bit of an indicator of how you play, but uh, really, at the end of the day, the score matters a lot more, right? Yep. You know, you could hit only 75% of fairways, but if you still manage to get birdies, it really doesn't matter, right? All right, now we're going to go for the Turbo Spin Clubs, and this will basically allow us to use almost any character in the cast. Ah. Uh, Let's go! Almost. We got to play it on the difficult Western Valley. So does this open up a new golf course, too? Uh, I don't think so. I think I'd have to actually complete this rank. Ah. Uh. I don't know if I need to complete two tournaments for this rank or three. Either way, it probably won't happen this episode or next episode. Okay, well, here we go. You should be all warmed up now. Are you sure? <laughs> that was not the shot I was intending to hit. I don't know, didn't you hit the impact zone perfectly? Yeah, but I screwed up my super backspin. Oh. I don't know, that looks that still looks all right. That's overhit. But the less than perfect impact, let's hope I get 97. Yes I did. I got 97% power on that, so that's gonna make that a much better shot than it normally would be. That was a really that was a really good shot. Yeah, because of the bad lie. The bad lie made my shot better. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of this, too, is just luck. Yep. Well, I'm sure there's some uh, randomness involved in, you know, yeah, like when, whenever you hit one of these shots, right? <clears throat> that was an excellent vector. 30, 40, 50. Look at this. Whoa! Oh, so close. That's a conceivable birdie. Careful. Nice birdie. You almost got a hole in one there. Yep. You know, you can really use headwinds to your advantage with the high shot trajectory. It's the tailwinds that are actually the problem. I don't uh. like tailwinds. Don't they help you hit the ball further? I mean, if that's what you're looking for, but they also screw up your ability to approach greens. Mm. Headwinds don't really affect me that much. About the only time they'd really affect you is if you couldn't physically hit a club large enough to actually hit the green. Oh. Well, look at that pin placement, eh? That's wicked. Yep. That's why we're going to be over here and we're going to be kind of cautious. That was an 
And hopefully I got enough of that, but I'm not sure. 20, 30... Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, you got enough. I actually hit it too hard. <laughs> hey, being this close in your third shot, that's pretty good anyway. I might have overhit that. Nope, got a little bit of uh, power reduction there. That's a conceivable birdie. Wicked break, though. Yeah. Maybe I should have tried a power shot three wood there. Hmm. Would have been easier for the power setting, right? I don't know. I just didn't think of it. I try not to use a lot of power shots with Lynn because she doesn't have that many. Yeah. You have yeah. to you have to budget them a bit. That's right? right. Yeah. I think this is pushed into the rough. Into the, into the bunker. Into the bunker. Wow. Look on the bright side. At least you didn't put it into the water. Yeah, that's true. There's still time for that, though. No. <laughs> yeah. I think that's off the back. I was kind of playing the worst side of the percentages there. Yeah. That's why that ended up like that. I'm surprised you ended up with as good a shot as you did anyway. For how fast that swing meter was going. You get used to it after a while. It just takes experience. Oh, oh. come on! <laughs> I'm gonna blame that one on the fringe because I got 99% power coming off the fringe instead of 100. Oh. Good luck. That's part of the hazard of not hitting the green. Yeah, that's not the best shot I ever hit. No, because if it were, it would be the best shot you'd ever hit. Ha! <laughs> Well, no, every shot should be the best shot you ever hit. Yeah, but that's not possible. It is. Because then you would have to continuously improve. No, you just need to hit it perfect every time. If there's no room for improvement, it's the best shot you ever hit. Hmm. Uh, that's not the best shot I ever hit either. That could be said of almost every shot you make, though. Except for the best shot you ever hit. So I was hoping that if I could hit the super backspin, it would uh, push my ball. The wind would push my ball a little bit further to the left. Maybe, it w considering how close I landed there, though, it might have actually pushed me about an equal distance onto the other side of the hole. Yeah. <laughs> so I probably didn't have that lined up quite right anyways. I remember this. This is the one where I hit that stupid tree that's in front of the green there. Mm-hmm. This is, uh, one of the holes that spoiled my round. Yep. Because I was actually doing okay until we got here. Yeah, this is not a, uh, beginner-friendly hole, that's for sure. Yeah, that's why I said I'd, uh, I'd gladly drop a, a club out of my bag if I could carry a chainsaw. Mm. I think that's too hard. Well, you spun it back on. That's a conceivable birdie. I needed it like one notch less, and then uh, I would have landed on the green. I think you get more backspin for being on the green. I think that's too hard. Yep. Oh, oh putting. I hate putting. 
only I could just get it within like two feet of the hole. You just need time. to do it less. Yeah, I just need to do it less. <laughs> That's right. If you hate putting, try your best to do it less. Yes. <laughs> Well, that was all right. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty good shot. Because some of these par threes are really hard, right? I think this is another the the second hole that wrecked me too, right? I got like a plus four or something on this hole. I don't know if you did that bad, but you uh, ended up uh, I think hitting into that bunker. Yeah. Then I managed to kind of straighten things out again after that, but those two holes back to back, just, uh, that was enough to spoil my round. It was a difference between a, uh, above par and a below a par round, right? Yep. Yeah, that's probably going to be in the left bunker. Oh, it had enough to roll out of it again. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. It's probably overhit, but again, I play the worst percentages. Because you don't want to hit the side of the hill there and roll back down into the bunker, right? Yep. Oh, drop the birdie, but. I actually typically use this course for a lot of versus modes when I'm not playing for the series here. Yeah. I really like this course. That was an I like the, the desert courses in general. Well, oh. they, 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 they do look good, hey? Oh, this is like a semi-rough kind of situation. Oh. Short rough. Yes. Okay, that slope didn't affect me as much as I thought it would. Thought it was a steeper slope than it was. I think I underhit this though. Oh, nope. Nope. It went. Well, so far you're on a pace to better your uh, previous best score, anyway. Well, my best score on recording. I think I shot uh, better on this course when we were playing it with you. I shot minus 17 on that round. Yeah, but that doesn't count. No, it doesn't count in terms of tournament statistics. I overhit this. I needed that super backspin to hang my ball up in the air. Yep. I don't know if I'll lose enough yardage here. Oh, I guess it's fine. That could have been worse. Yeah, if I could hit the ball at like super backspin trajectories all the time, I just would. Hmm. Yeah, this is that hole where you got stuck behind that tree. Yeah, I think I ended up with just a bogey on this hole, though, so it wasn't so bad, right? 
It wasn't like multiple above par like that one hole. You have exceeded the previous record. I think they overhit this. A little yeah, bit. By, by about two yards. That's a conceivable birdie. Oh no, that's too hard. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, just <laughs> slam it in. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you hit the cup dead on, it doesn't matter. Well, unless you hit it really hard. Right, so so that it pops out. Yeah, that that can happen too, right? Yep. That was an excellent vector. A big hit. I don't know, I think that's over it. If only I could get some bites. Well, if you get those turbo spin clubs, then that should help you. Well, except I probably won't use them with Lynn, because she benefits a lot more from the extra power. Oh. Well, that's kind of lame. That'll be short. Probably should have aimed it more to the left, actually. Oh, you did all right. I didn't account for the slope of the green enough. Uh. <laughs> yep, them single speed brakes, man. It's all about the different speeds. That's what makes a putt hard. If it's all the same speed, it's more or less easy. That was an excellent vector. 40, 50... Yep, we're good. Oh, hey, look. Is it going to break the record? <laughs> nope, not quite. Nope, but I'm right where I used to be. Yeah, you're within a yard of your last shot there, or your longest shot there. Ugh. Oh no. Oh, look but at that! You made it, you had enough there to jump up onto the green. Sometimes you just get lucky. That's a potential eagle. Brakes like this with the multi speed brakes. <laughs> These are hard. Yeah, and downhill too, eh? Yep. Wow. Well, no eagle for you. Yeah, I didn't hit That's hard enough. I wussed out. Yeah. Nice Should have hit it harder. Four. I only have four left. Normally I'd use a power shot on this hole. Why, do you think you need four power shots to finish up the last three holes after this? I think so, but I don't really know. I kind of have a feel for these things, but I don't actively measure it, right? Oh, uh, you don't really need to use a power shot on this hole anyway. I usually do. As long as you can see around that uh, rock formation there, whatever that is. That was an excellent vector. <laughs> Your ball's in proximity to the hole. 
that's a conceivable birdie. Oh. oh! Come on! <laughs> yeah! Oh, God. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> it's just one of those days. Mm. Yeah. That's probably off the back. Let's be real. Most unfortunate. Well, I oh, think you, I think you got a little more of that than you were expecting. Uh-oh, could this be a bogey? Hey, don't jinx it. Ooh, saved. Uh, <laughs> a narrow escape. Yeah, this is going to turn into a fucking minus 12 round. Ugh. I'm going to shoot a minus 12 round. I hate minus 12 rounds. They're like the worst rounds ever. They make you feel terrible. Yeah, I know I'd feel terrible if I shot minus 12. <laughs> well, I know I sure as hell do. There, see, you're going to go to minus 13 right here. Then you can finish strong to set a new course record. Huh. Why, what was my last score? Minus 13. Oh, God. This is where I, like, par this hole. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. If you manage to make this green in two, then uh, you got a pretty good chance of making a new best score. I think I overhit. That's 240. That's going to be like 250. Hey, you can putt twice for a new course record. Oh my god, you and your course record. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's too hard. And overplayed. Oh, it was awfully close. That's a conceivable birdie. There. New course record. Blech. That round was terrible. Well, you gotta leave room for improvement so that the next time when you come along here, you'll feel really good because you set a new course record again. But I don't care about the course record. I already set the course record, just not mm. in this stupid tournament mode. But actually, I can do better than minus 17 neither. I just didn't play very well today. Lots of missed putts. As my calculations predicted, you have prevailed. Well, you won the tournament. Yeah, and I got the Turbo and Spin Clubs. you got clubs. the Turbo Spin Clubs. That's an important victory right there. That lets us use other members of the cast. Uh... Best score. Best points. No. Terrible score. Terrible points. Uh, if your points aren't up around 4,000, you did a bad job. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. <laughs> but, uh... To win something. <laughs> See, it doesn't work when you say it. You have to tell me to lose. No, yeah, I'd probably still lose if you told me to lose. I probably just mm. will lose at that game forever, regardless. Yeah, I don't so remember funny. the last time I won that game. Yeah, well, I guess uh, some people just can't do it, hey? 
Yeah, I sure as hell can't. Anyway, I guess uh, that's it till next time. What's the plan for next episode? Uh, next time will be a tournament mode and a versus mode. Uh, and I actually have a request for the versus mode. I, I'll have to go back and look at it, but I'm pretty sure it was Mitch versus John. Oh. So. Okay, well, until then. I'm Rec B5. And I'm Sandman99. Have a good one.